God of the principle and the law. 25. God is the God of the principle. Conversely, Satan stands in an unprincipled position. Therefore, if you are unprincipled, it puts Satan in charge, if you are principled, it puts God in charge. When we consider the positions of the beings at the time of God's creation, God came first, next were Adam and Eve, and then the archangels. This is the view based on the principle. 26. What is the purpose of a religious life? It is to realize one's original nature. Original nature is the core of the principle. Since God is the owner of the principle, he can govern by the principle. But God can govern only what is within the original nature. Since the original nature and the absolute God are one, the original nature also strives to stand in the absolute position. Because of this, the mind can command the body absolutely, and this is principled. The principle determines the core of everything. The more principled something is, the closer its position will be to the center. 27. A good and upright person represents the whole. In measuring goodness, the closer a person is to the position of the principle, the better he or she is. Our original nature inclines us to engage in actions that move toward oneness with God, because He is the center of the principle. This inclination toward oneness with the center results from the action of the conscience. Had our ancestors not fallen, the conscience would have directed and disciplined the body. That is the principle. But due to the fall, the body became an unprincipled base. Thus, the principle inevitably engages us in action to fight against that which is not of the principle. This is the action of the conscience. 28. All that is true is necessarily centered on God. All things become true if and when we human beings lay the fundamental foundation upon which to bring forth order and good governance. Absent such a foundation, nothing is really true. God is the source of what is true, trueness is possible because God exists. When God departs, so does trueness. In that void, the origin of evil emerges. True results can only come from truth. In other words, the fulfillment of God's desire comes from the existence of the true God. Please understand that concepts such as truth and goodness are established in relation not to human beings, but to God. 29. What is truth? To man, the greatest truth is woman. To woman, the greatest truth is man. To God, the truth is human beings, to human beings, the truth is God. Truth is not found elsewhere. Since God is true, and is the truth, all that stems from Him is true, and is the truth. How can truth reach perfection? When man and woman become one and, as a couple, unite with God in true love, perfection is attained. There can be no perfection without true love. Seen in this way, man represents the perfection of truth and woman represents the perfection of truth. Thus, for man and woman to become one is to perfect God and the universe. 30. God is the subject partner of the truth and the original essence of the truth. Accordingly, it is said that all things are possible through Him. This basic principle is effective because God is the truth. As the subject being and the subject partner, God is in the position to take responsibility for all things, whether under His or another's dominion. Because He takes responsibility, He has been the center of history and will remain the central being forever. 31. If God ignored his own law, with which he created everything, he would not be able to govern his creation. Because he established a law, God takes dominion over his creation by observing that very law. Thereby, he becomes the God who makes the law his own. If he were to oppose it, he could not own it. By observing it, God becomes the God of law. Because he is one with the law, he can judge according to the law. He can forbid things and give commandments. Otherwise, he cannot judge according to the law or pass sentence by the law. 32. Christianity describes God as the omniscient and omnipotent Father, but his omniscience and omnipotence do not function apart from a basic principle. God does not act arbitrarily. The law established by the eternal God is eternal. The fact that he is the one who established it does not justify his being arbitrary and changing it. 33. Christian ministers may think, the omniscient and omnipotent God, with the power of creation, can do whatever he wants, even now. But that is far from the truth. 
All things existing in heaven and on earth operate by the fundamental law, the principle. Even God cannot act in violation of his law. Even the president of a nation has to respect the constitution and the laws the legislature passes according to it. Since God is the being who is absolute, unique, unchanging and eternal, his law is also absolute, unique, unchanging and eternal. He needs a partner who conforms to this law. For him this is the highest necessity. He needs a partner who, representing the world, abides by the law and liberates the people.